How's it going everybody? Driver 53 here and today I'm going to show you how to automatically and automagically transport your animal goods, that's eggs, honey, and wool from your animal pins over to your other products in your production chains. And if you guys are like me, I really enjoy using the production facilities here in the game. Giants did a fantastic job incorporating these into base game, but I'm having trouble getting all my wool and my honey and my eggs over to my other places while I'm trying to get through the rest of my farming. And that's where this mod comes in. This is the automatic shipping of animal products. It's by Cami Cacker and it was released on April 13th, 2022. Now you don't get to use it just like this sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. You've actually got to put it close to your animal pen. So let me show you exactly how that's done. Right here, we have one of our chicken coops and all you need to do is come over here to construction. Then you're gonna go across to your animals. You're gonna come across again to your chickens. And then you can see down here at the bottom, we have this new mod here that says egg shipping. Now it shows eggs in and eggs out. Whenever we select it, you can see it looks just like the one that we just had in front of us. But what we need to do is actually rotate this around so it gets lined up with this spawn point right here for our eggs. I'm on controller right now, so it's a little bit tricky. And all you have to do is just line it up right here so the whole thing goes inside. Pretty simple. Hit your X, boom, and there it is. You know, and now you can see that the spawn point is fully within the collection point here of this building. This is what it could look like here for your sheep. I know that the sheep spawn point, it starts right here in this corner. So that's why I went ahead and put it here. If I had to start it over here, then it wasn't going to go ahead and get all of the pallets as they spawn. Anything that you currently have on the ground right here, it's not going to automatically put those into this facility. This is what it looks like for the chickens. And I did the same thing. I know that my initial spawn point is going to be right here. So that's why I set it up this way. So I could still drive through here if I needed for anything else. And this is honey. Now we know that the honey spawn point doesn't have a building or anything like that. It's just a spot on the ground. So I went ahead and put this right here and it's uh, it's completely inside it. Here we are in the production chains menu. You can see that I don't have any of these active right now. And the reason is because I want to go ahead and speed up time and be able to get some product here into my incoming materials. That way I can see exactly how fast this is actually going to transfer. The 24 cycles per month, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to be. Let me go and get some product in here and then we're going to find that out. And here we are. I went ahead and slept through like four or five days so we could get quite a bit of product here. And the honey actually filled up all the way. Now, what it's going to do on each one of those buildings is it's going to give you a pallet right here whenever you have it set on storing. And I guess that's so you can know exactly what's in here. I happen to have the liftable pallets and big bags mod here by Yos. So I'm actually able to pick these up and move them out of the way just a little bit. I highly recommend this mod. If you're a console player, it is a great, great mod to have because as you can see, we're just able to pick these up and put them down here out of the way. Now, it's still saying that I have no more uh, capacity for storing and that's because when we come over here and look at it i've got 5,000 liters so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here and instead of storing i'm actually going to put this on distributing and then i'm going to come down here to eggs and i'm going to do the exact same thing and then wool i'm going to do that there too so i want to see how quickly this actually gets out of here and goes over to another facility that i have set up and that facility here is the logistical warehouse. We showed this off in a video earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and link it up above if you guys want to see exactly how this place works. It's going to take all your finished goods, anything that's in production, you can put in here. It takes your animal products also. I highly recommend it as a console player. Also, this is a fantastic mod for storing all of your production goods and then distributing out to all your other facilities. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Keep an eye on this and see how fast that 5,000 liters goes over to my other facility. All right, so I've run it a few hours now, and if we come up here, you can now see that we have 726 liters in here. That's because it was uh, it had a little bit of storing already in it, so it almost immediately transferred everything over to my other place. As you can see here in my logistical warehouse, I've got eggs, wool right there, and then honey down here as well. And then once again, how do you get this other pallet here? Well, if you're using the local pallets mod, all you gotta do is pick it up and boom, right there. It's gonna take it. It's gonna throw it over there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these, put them in here too. Well, everybody, that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna keep up to date on my other tips and tricks and mod showcase videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53. Signing off.